Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to the Wasatch Gear Review. Today I think we're going to look at the Camtoa uh, camping chair. This is a backpacking chair. Uh, it's very nice um, for the price. I'm going to go over a few other things, or a few other chairs, excuse me. Um, other than the uh, Camtoa, um, we'll go over lightly on the big Agnes Hillinox Chair One. Uh, we're also going to go over the Hillinox Swivel Chair, which is also by Big Agnes. Uh, we'll go over the REI Flex Light chair, which is all, all these chairs are very comparable to the one I'll be reviewing today. And then we also have the Thermarest, uh, the Trio chair. We're all the same basic type of chair. Um, this one, the reason why I'm doing the review today is because, you know, I'm a poor man. So I don't get all the most expensive gear that you can buy. Here is the stuff sack for the chair. Um, should have a tape measure right here somewhere. Give it a sack. So basically, chair packed away dimensions. 16 inches by 6 inches around so not too bad for backpacking uh, the total weight if I'm not mistaken on this unit is just under 2 pounds I think it was 1 pound 12 ounces right around there so I showed you the uh, stuff sack, and so I'm going to show you the uh, frame for the chair. Now the way this works is you can just grab this middle piece, and they're all going to fall out. Okay. I always snap the legs in first, but really you can do it however you want. Put the backs in. So now you can see you've got your four legs down at the bottom, cross membrane here, cross brace, membrane, I'm losing my membrane. And then your bottom of your seat posts, and then the taller ones are, of course, the back, and your back seat posts. So I'll set it down here on the ground. Let you get a little better look at it without the seat on it. And then the seat here, I'll set you back down for a minute. The seat here, when I roll it up, I just do this, fold it in half, and then of course I put the frame inside, you know, right here. And then I roll the frame over it to pack it so the frame is tight by the seat. By the way, this is all made out of nylon. Um, and is that stink slash stain resistant nylon. It's where you don't get a lot of the smell staying in it. Uh, campfire, sweat, uh, dirt, you know, that kind of stuff. So let me throw this on real quick. I apologize that you can't see what I'm doing here. I need a tripod. But I will show you where these snap in. I'll slide in, then I'll go snap, slide. Now, so far, I've used this chair 
about what two or three different camping trips so that's the chair set up bring you around to the back um, these uh, reinforced rubber stitched uh, hangers are what the posts just slide into and you have that this is the back oh I put that on wrong I've got that on wrong that oh no no I don't that's for your back yes for the air this is for your butt and it's a little more sturdy I don't have it on wrong and then of course on the uh, bottom side it's the same loops that you just uh, slide your poles into. If I'm not mistaken, uh, these tent poles or these chair poles are uh, aluminum. Uh, I'll have to find out the exact on it. But then you can see here that set up now this chair uh, and it will support 225 pounds um, I had told uh, one of my friends wives on Facebook on the uh, Facebook Wasatch gear review page that it would hold 220 First I had told her 225, then I corrected myself to 220, but then when I looked it up, uh, it is 225, 225 pounds, and this will hold, uh, I think it's 100 kilograms, which is about 220, or 225, right in that area. Well, it's very comfortable. What I like most about this chair is that you can, uh, you know, anyone who's backpacked a lot, your lower back, you know, after a few miles, you know, starts killing you. Especially if you, you know, even if you have a good pack, uh, you know, if you're carrying heavier weight, you know, if you're if you're ultra light, if you're ten and under, uh, more power to you. I haven't been able to get down that low yet. I think the lowest I've been carrying is about 22, 23, 24 pounds right now. But there are some things, you know, that I just can't do away with. I need certain comforts and to get back to the lower back issue. I've had a lower back, you know, I'm 36. I've had a bad lower back for quite some time. And what this allows me to do after hiking with a heavy pack for miles, you know, I used to sit down on a log or on a rock or on the ground when I got to camp. And I never really had anything to lean my back on like this and let it relax. And then the other thing too is it's stable enough where I can throw my feet straight out in front of me and really stretch my, my legs out and let my back rest completely against the backrest. I mean, I'm even hanging my arms backwards now and uh, I'm not tipping on them. Now you do want to keep it on fairly level ground. I've had it a few times on some uneven ground where <coughs> You know, I've almost tipped over on this thing. So you really do want to make sure that you're on this fairly level ground, that all the posts are put in properly on the bottom. Uh, you wouldn't want to crash down on this thing. But in my opinion, uh, this is one of the pieces of comfort gear that I keep around that I really enjoy. Um, yeah, that's about it, folks. Uh, again, I appreciate you for tuning in this episode of the Wasatch Gear Review. I'm Corbin. Have a good day.